think what what happened? I slept for I slept for five hours. I wouldn't use Google Translate. I'm not sure how accurate it is. Hello, I would like to talk a little about Twitch Rivals. I understand I am the captain of my team and that for me it was a great opportunity for disguises. I greatly appreciate thinking of me. However, I am part of a community and it will not seem right to keep quiet and betray my own. I know they want to send people like Coconut B or say four nonsense to try to get over someone. From the beginning, everything has been easier for them. I'm not good at Rust. I'd still lose if it weren't for the people we have on the team who do know about this, but we're playing on their servers, something they wouldn't have even considered the other way around. Something they wouldn't have even considered the other way around. Um, so... When we were organizing this, one of the main things I kept iterating to the developers was finding a server that would work for everyone. Um, I was talking to Alistair from Rust and the people who are managing the servers like, hey, we need to pick the server that would be the fairest for everyone. Um, Because, yeah, the lag kind of sucks. And I know there's no perfect server. So, I left that decision up to the devs. And... I did not try and influence where the server was going to be. I just said, hey, just try and pick the one you think will have the most average ping out of everyone and they did the test between like America uh, Latin Latin America and Europe to see which one had the average ping and they actually showed me the statistics out of all the server and the average ping was the lowest on East Coast because it's like across the water from Europe and like there's a bit of distance between East Coast and West Coast. Um, so we definitely did try to pick an e uh, a server that was fairest for everyone. I know it was still like a minor ping advantage for NA but it was something we all agreed to. And if they said any other server, if they said the best server was in, I don't know, China, if for whatever reason China had the best servers, I would have agreed to that. They started using revolvers when they were initially primitive things. We put up with uh, we put up with it without saying anything and started crafting them too. Then they used Python and once again we shut up and started using them. They raided us by breaking the base and nobody gave them anything back to their administration. Um, it was definitely unfortunate um, about what they thought was allowed and wasn't allowed my attitude was if you could use it that means it's allowed if you can't use it it's not allowed because for example AKs um, if you try to use an AK on day one the game physically would not let you use AKs like it will try and stop you from doing that Uh, 
Um, so if you could use a revolver or a double barrel shotgun, um, I just assume, well, the developers didn't restrict it, so I guess it's okay, right? And that's why I told everyone, it's like, if you can use it, that means it's okay. If you can't use it, the admins will step in and restrict it. yesterday without breaking anything and it took less than five minutes to return the things however they did not return the heli to us but they duplicated it so that Wendy they would not have any problem What's that? Wendy I'm about to let it all we just started using F1 and kill after you. we saw that it was the tactic they were using so that caps well, will not count they are the ones who had direct How posts from the Spanish streamers to know where we okay. are not well us. I think this will create like 500 Maybe? The events were staying tied because we managed to recover Maybe, points yeah. where they slept, wow. but yes, they, they took the rebel, oil rig. That's 10%? Petrol. That's something. I think petrol's <laughs> mean oil rig. Nice From us. I don't know that, Missy. I don't know that. The events are at their time around yesterday to dispute at 1 a.m. So they're saying we, the admins made a decision um, to disable Ulrig, which was their main way of getting points. Um, when they were about to go to bed, which was an advantage to us. Um, but I don't know if that's an advantage to us, right? Because they also have a scrap heli, they're free to contest against us. Um, they had a scrap heli and oil rig for the most part of day one. And that's how they got allowed to lead and it was just a smart play by them. And they could, I mean, they can go to any other monuments. They were at launch site, right? The one, the drops were moved to launch site instead of the oil rig. And um, they, they beat our asses. Like, they legitimately beat our asses at launch site. And I thought that was pretty cool. Like, they won a fair fight. They got there first. They held position. Uh, we weren't that organized contesting it, and they beat us, fair and square. Like... They, they were, they had very good players. It was a well-fought win by them, so... They were able to get dubs, like, outside of oil rig, but... Yeah, the time zone, I agree, is definitely hard to balance. Um, when you have, like, two different teams playing on the same server with different time zones. Yeah. And, honestly, it was sometimes frustrating. Hold my, my God, I'm just, I just look at the points. Um, like, it was frustrating for some of our players, too, because I know Shroud kept logging on looking for a fight. Um, but because Shroud logs on during normal hours, he can't really fight anyone. And we have DGENs, like Coconut, Mendo, <laughs> and Hjun, three of our best players, are all doing subathons. Um, they were mega DGENing. And I think Ray C streams throughout the entire night. I know they are not gonna understand it. They are not used to it. They do not know what the rules are. Do that. 
They do not know, they do not know what it is that the rules do not turn to your convenience or that there's another language apart from yours or that there are people playing on your servers on the other side of an ocean. Some won't even know what an ocean is, XD. And I repeat, I feel bad for having to write this because it does nothing but harm me in the face of Twitch or future things. But it would be, it would seem to me to be a coward to not support my teammates, even when many today don't even want to play. And yes, the tweets are in Spanish because it is my language. Surprise, if you don't understand the tweets, then you give him to translate. Kazuro's a greeting, and again, this guy still thanks for having me. Really, zero drama with him. Eh. Right now, my biggest concern is what's going to happen in one hour with the official Twitch Rivals broadcast. I... I'll be, I'll be honest, I... I expected drama, I expected salt. I expected to be complaining from every side. Uh, I did not expect them to just up and quit though. So. I actually did not take that into account. And I, f I feel, I feel bad cause I kind of been looking forward to this for the last, I think we started planning this three months ago. 